The Essential phone is one of the most anticipated phones of the year 2017 for several reasons. The number one being it's from the Android founder Andy Rubin. I reserved my phone on the day it was announced and got it delivered on August 31st. Nearly three months I've been waiting to get my hands on this phone. So finally it's here and I also ordered the 360 degree camera to go along with my Essential phone. Here is the Essential phone and the 360 degree camera review. The first thing you will notice and probably fall in love with is the Essential Phone's display. The display is drop dead gorgeous. It's a 5.7 inch Quad HD display running edge to edge meaning there are no bezels at all. And this helps Essential to give us an awesome screen to body ratio of 85%. Literally, you only see the screen and you work with the screen. There are no bezels at all running from bottom to the top. Now, Essential has also gone a step further and managed to embed the camera inside the display. So that results in this cutout, which is actually in the middle of the screen. And initially I thought this is going to distract me a lot, but after just using it for an hour, just for an hour, this really didn't bother me at all. Rather, I started to enjoy the screen and the edge-to-edge -edge display more than any other thing. So the camera cutout, while it certainly could be a distraction for a few, I'm pretty sure you're going to get used to it. And not to mention the app icons and the status bar icons also don't collide with the camera cutout. They're all safe by having the app icons on the left and the status bar icons on the right. And there's literally nothing that Android puts in the middle to hide something that you can't see. Some apps do support the entire full screen and some don't. The apps that support full screen are going to be gorgeous and give you that full display. The apps that don't will have basically a black bar instead of going up to the top. So that's the key difference if you look at the camera cutout and how it handles the different apps. And not to mention about the LED notification light and the earpiece which are just available there at the top. The LED notification light is placed really well. I can see the light from any angle and look at whether I have any notifications or not. So the earpiece is just there but you won't see it until you actually see it. And that's the beauty of the Essential Phones design which just pulled me into ordering one. So those are the first few things you will notice and fall in love with the Essential Phone. Let's talk about the specs. The Essential Phone comes with Snapdragon 835 processor with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 128 GB onboard storage with a 3040 milliamp battery and a dual camera lens each with 13 megapixel of f1.9 aperture and a front camera of 8 megapixel of f2.2 aperture but they don't have optical image stabilization rather have support for electronic image stabilization. However, there are two big things that the Essential Phone lacks with respect to the specs. The IP rating for water and dust resistant and wireless charging. Both of these are very common in a flagship smartphone and that's something we are missing with the Essential Phone's first generation. And yes, if you are looking for the headphone jack, I'm sorry to disappoint you. The Essential Phone though does not come with an headphone jack. That said, you do get a 3.5mm adapter in the box so you don't have to go buy one separately. So basically you get the bare essentials. You have top of the line specs with few compromises. If you are okay with it, you're gonna be enjoying the essential phone. If you are not, probably this phone is not something what you're looking for. Essential doesn't stop just by giving you a gorgeous display. They have also taken a good thought around the materials used to build this phone. The Essential Phone comes with a ceramic back panel rather than the usual glass back panel that you find in the other flagship phones along with titanium edges on the sides instead of the aluminum edges that you usually find in the flagship phones. Both the ceramic back panel and the titanium edges is going to make the Essential Phone more durable and sustainable to scratches than the glass panel that you find in the other phones. But that does add a little bit of weight to the phone, but to me that weight has helped ergonomically hold the phone, given that it's 5.7 inch, to use one-handed. So that added weight has helped me a lot. Now the 
phone is 5.7 inch, but you don't really feel that big. You're just holding a tiny little phone due to the bezel-less and the high screen body ratio that you get with the Essential phone. The software experience, just as it names, suggests the Essentials. You get just the Essentials to power your phone. Essential phone comes with stock Android 7.1.1, and basically you only get 24 apps when you boot up for the first time and that's pretty great when considering how much bloatware and how much oem apps you get with say samsung or lg or any other uh, android company that actually builds phones so it's nice and a welcoming change to see the difference you get with the stock Android experience and pretty much only 24 apps, the 24 Google apps that you might need to power your phone. So that doesn't stop there. You as a user now have the choice to install the apps and use the phone the way you want. So that's the experience you get with the Essential phone. With the stock Android experience, you don't get any bloatware, you don't get any custom apps, and you don't actually get any gimmicks or extra features added to your phone. It's just plain vanilla Android. While initially the software performance was not good and filled with a lot of bugs, luckily Essential released an update which actually fixed a lot of those performance issues and bugs I had with the phone. After the update, I started enjoying the Essential phone software experience. I still think Essential software experience is great given that it does not come with any bloatware or extra added features to it. Dual cameras, the trend that we're seeing along with the bezel-less design these days. So the dual camera here in the Essential phone is going to allow you to take monochrome pictures. The second lens basically is a monochrome sensor that takes amazing black and white pictures. Now both the color sensor and the monochrome sensor are going to combine and give you a much greater output when you take a normal photo. I took a lot of shots with the Essential camera. I feel like it has done a very decent job, except that it adds a little bit of warm tone during the daylight shots. Here again, while the initial experience with the Essential camera app was so buggy and slow and had random freezes, Essential released another update to the camera app, which actually fixed a lot of its performance issues. There are still few issues with the camera app. For example, it still takes few seconds when you switch between different modes and if you toggle the HDR and flash settings. So there's certainly more work to be done here, but the current update has fixed the performance which allows you to now use the camera app without any random freezes. So that's a big update that you need to look out for. And in the description below, I will add the Google Play Store link for the Essential Camera app where you can navigate directly and check to see if you have that update. Essential also introduced us to a new accessory model that is built right into your Essential phone. So basically the Essential phone has a wireless data transfer hub that can interact with the Essential accessories wirelessly so you don't need any wires connecting to the accessory or you know the accessory grabbing power from an external source or a battery. Instead, using this wireless data transfer hub, the accessory can seamlessly connect to your phone wirelessly and even grab power from the phone itself. So Essential released its first accessory, the 360 degree camera, to showcase this new technology. The 360 degree camera is an interesting gadget. It's the world's smallest 360 degree camera that plugs into your phone through the magnetic pin on the back. Just take it closer to those magnetic pins and the camera attaches itself to your phone firmly. As soon as it gets attached, it loads the camera app and you're ready to go recording 360 degree in 4K format. So that's a very good experience. Once you use it, you'll realize how simple that experience is. This little 360 degree camera interacts with that new wireless data transfer hub and knows what to do and how to power itself wirelessly. So this is something fresh and new from Essential that I'm really enjoying using it. And I also published a video, the 360 degree video from this camera in my channel and I'll put the link in the description as well to go and look at how the quality of this camera is. I really like this wireless accessory model. I'm looking forward to more accessories Essential is going to be releasing. So they already have a wireless charger in plan so you can just place your phone on the dock and it will charge wirelessly. 
And I believe Andy Rubin, the founder of Essential, also promised us a camera mod that can actually take much better pictures with optical image stabilization and higher megapixels to capture great shots. Again, I'm looking forward to those kind of accessories to use with my Essential phone. Essential comes with a 3040 milliamp battery, so it should be good enough to last for a day. I hoped I could get more with this battery because of the reason that I don't have any extra features and just the stock Android. But the battery was able to last only a day with around four hours screen on time and you know basically three and a half hours on an average. I'm not sure where the problem is because yes, I do use emails and I do use other social media apps but I get much better battery life in my OnePlus 5 or Samsung Galaxy S8 than the Essential phone. Hopefully this is again fixed in a future update, but right now you would get a day and that's about it. So where does this leave the Essential phone? The Essential phone has come through a rough journey and a rough start. However, Essential showing good signs of delivering updates and fixing those performance issues and bug fixes, this phone deserves a second chance. So while initially I was contemplating to end this review by not recommending the Essential phone, but I changed my perception after looking at the updates that I received from Essential for the past few weeks. If Essential continues to do the same and give us the software fixes that we need, the Essential phone with its ceramic built titanium edges and a great software experience is worthy of its hype. So let me know what you think about the Essential phone. If you already have one, let me know your thoughts as well. And if you're planning to get one and have some questions, put them in the comments as well. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, this is the right time to subscribe. And until next time, bye.